should get the good toy. She don't no. like it. Do you guys remember humans can lick too? This was one of the most popular scary stories when I was a kid. Disclaimer, this video is for entertainment purposes only. The story goes like there was a young girl who was staying home alone one night while her parents went out. They were going to be home early the next morning, but they were confident that the girl would be okay because she had her dog to protect her. Before the girl went to bed, she locked every single window and door in the house, except there was one window in the basement that wouldn't close. After several minutes of trying, the girl finally got the window closed, but it wouldn't lock. The lock was stuck. She thought, it'll be fine, and she started to get herself ready for bed. The girl laid down for bed around 8 o'clock, and her dog went to lay under her bed. She went to say goodnight to her dog and stuck her hand under her bed so that her dog could lick it. She woke up a couple hours later with a weird feeling, wanted to see if her dog was still under her bed, so she put her hand down there, and her dog licked it. A couple hours later, the same thing. Her dog licked her hand. I didn't realize the story would be longer than a minute, so... Have you seen the movie Paranormal Activity, The Marked Ones? Oh yeah. You know how their Ouija board is the, the Simon Says toy? Yeah. So we found the exact same toy. So uh, I started messing with it. I was like, are there any ghosts here? We go back into the truck. We parked in the middle of a parking lot for some reason. No other car. Literally the moon is the only thing like lighting the parking lot. Because it's nighttime, we're like, let's start saying scary stories. Now my friend is saying her scary story when she was talking about the possession going on in her story. The radio of her truck turned on. We couldn't figure out what the radio was saying, but it was like, it, it was loud. And then my friend looked at her phone because it was connected to her phone. She drops her phone and she screams and starts crying. And now she's telling us, guys, we have to pray. Like, we have to pray right now. And now me and my friend Ashley are like, what the fuck? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we just start grabbing, we hold each other's hands and we start praying. And then my friend Annette was like, guys, I swear to you. When I looked at my phone to see what was playing or to at least pause what it was, it said, the devil is yelling. And when she was explaining that at the exact same moment in this empty parking lot, a random nun walks right in front of the truck. Cause there is no church nearby. It's 1030 at night. And it just so happened that this nun comes right when this whole scary stuff was happening. Jeffrey Dahmer has a victim that nobody knows about. His name is Dean Vaughn. He was a neighbor of Jeffrey Dahmer. He lived upstairs from him, like a floor or two. He was never charged for this, and Dean's death is still listed as, it's a cold case. They ended up finding him dead in his apartment by strangulation. Dahmer's primary way of killing his victims was strangulation. People on his hall said that they saw him with an unknown white guy. It was ruled a homicide, and they never caught who did it, but this was during the time that Jeffrey Dahmer was on his spree.